Zako, what lessons are we taking from uh, what just happened in Senegal with respect uh, to the uh, respect uh, for uh, the constitution and institutions of uh, the nation? Yeah, <clears throat> I, one of the things which I said after the end of the Senegalese election, if there is an institution we have to thank, is the Electoral Commission. The Senegalese Electoral Commission has just given us a mandate that they are capable of ruling and managing elections in Senegal without foreign intervention. When I listened to one of the dons, you know, uh, Dr. Fomenio sent, sent a voice. In fact, he had an interview, a broad interview with BBC this morning. When I got it, then a country where elections are organized calmly, but before the elections, we need to drive our mind to the manipulation of the executives. Like we see in other countries, it might have happened in places like Nigeria and many others, like in Cote d'Ivoire, in Senegal, the people stood firm to tell them that the ways of the, the mind, the way forward of the constitution must be respected. After the people did that, they, 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 they petitioned the maid at the constitutional council, the judges sitting at the constitutional council did not tell Senegalese non fondé or irreservable. In fact, they admitted it, they adjudicated upon it, and decision was passed, which was again a victory of the people. When you have institutions where people are independent, where people have a mind of serving a nation, not an individual, that is only in such a nation we can find politics being man in that particular order. And again, somewhere people ask, in Cameroon, journalists are not allowed to even speak by giving figures. They are not allowed to give a tentative result of one way in which polling station in Senegal we have seen results flooded all over the internet, which was given by civil society, by individuals, by organizations that were called to observe election, which means that a bit of transparency is what characterizes every election. Sec uh, thirdly, you find the aspect of the youths, uh, the youths in many other countries that look at the old aging adult, obsolete individuals to make decisions for them. In Senegal, when we look at the age of the leadership there, it tells you already that there is a lot that has been done on electoral education, that the youths in that country, they are conscious and they know that the nation belongs to them. In Cameroon, what do you find? Ask a youth whether you have been registered on the electoral register, they will tell you that what will change even if they register. Yeah, that's so, if election. Good. So <laughs> we need to get on to tell them that the nation belongs to them. I look at this small guy, they call him Joshua in the city of Hong Kong, who created the umbrella revolution. He wants to be a parliamentarian in Hong Kong at age 23. So what is happening with our own youth? The same is what we have been using them. They carry placards on National Day to support people who are supposed to be guiding village chiefdoms and chieftaincies to stand when they don't even have a stand. So a lot of that, we come again to see that some of those things which we can gain from Senegal is that let the institution do their work and individuals should stay away because the nation is greater than an individual quest. And so if we rule a nation perfectly, history will not be read of what the nation might have done to you, but what you have done to your nation. People should try to get this small lesson. Maki Sal, so in a very heavy, smoothing, I mean foggy face, had to call fire to tell him, congratulations, Mr. President. So, such political contest where one person admits that you are more than me is still to be found in Cameroon. If one day the ruling party will one day call the others to tell them that, congratulations, you have won the election. You don't find it. So even Ba, Ba who was standing from the ruling party, equally had to congratulate Fai for his winning of the elections. These are democratic values which I think the people in Senegal are sending a lot of lessons for us who are going to organize us in, 20, in 2025. And I'm thinking that in many other respects, Cameroonians will learn some lessons. The youths will try to learn. And then the people, those who are in power now, 92 years. It's not really it for governance. Thank you very much. Well, I know say these people they never make like say they don't really know the thing where they happen. Because when we hear people they like this, they work at they can't talk. You feel like some people they know what is going on, but they just hope that maybe some kind of manner can fall from heaven. Maybe okay. 
God fi help. You know that kind of thing. God fi help. Now so it is. That the kind of wishful thinking and that. What if you really change the republic? What if you change for that country? Because France get one hundred percent hold of the republic. One hundred percent. I hear you. No man no be voting. Now France put it. Bobia, no man no voting. Now France put it. If you look like Republic for instance in a, in a country where it be built now on uh, you know some kind of magu magu kene kene you understand the thing they don't be straight with their thing look their history when during the time we we begin the spirit of nationalism for Africa you be here we count to them Ghana them you know Nigeria Senegal, all that country them. Any man be aspire for, you know, their independence and all the like. The Republic of Cameroon be this a serious wahala. That time they will see Om Nyobe there, Om Nyobe, Om Nyobe, Felix Mumi, and this one did them. Like people in that they be the Domo, you know, because France no be one liver. So France no be one leave them in the go, but in the, in the, in the name of the UPC party, that time they be the domo, and when, even that time they be the domo, so Sarun Kamarun be dey, the waka JJ. Sarun Kamarun be the waka he JJ. We don't be, we don't be really care about them because our economy be the boom. See them be the waka fine for we. We organize our election, they will see peaceful transition of power. If you imagine, during that period, where France, Naidi, be prevent Omnio Beden from doing what they do. I don't know. That time you want to hear about Makiza. You get. You, I think that you understand. That time you hear about Makiza. Now they are saying, "Om your bed the way they be the domo, France baller and Adam. They fini and Adam. When they fini and Adam, what they happen? They go pick a hijo. We be a radio repairer. They go pick it. They put it for them. When I want to go school, I know the thing what they talk. A hijo be a radio repairer. They go pick it because they always like to put person way. He go accomplish their agenda. They know people might be intelligent. And that's so like, why we don't work out that system for over the years. They pick Aijo, they put it for them. When the Aijo reach on time, they can't fool it, they say this, you know, say this because of the health condition, you know, if you continue to get for, 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 for control. Because once that the wise small, small, they move for game. How will they move for game? You want to come back through a good data for. For 1984, what happened? Pobia show you The very Pobia in France put it for the. I think when they hear the 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 thing, that they that they they call La Republic. They want to really think say this to the fee. The fee even do things with Senegal. The La Republic never ever get any democratic election. The Republic never ever get any democratic election since for their history, since for their independence. First January 1960. The Republic of never ever get any democratic election. Look how fine. Go back to history. They don't get the two presidents and two. Ahijo and Pobia. Who voted Ahijo? He was handpicked by France. Who voted Pobia? He was handpicked by France to replace Ahijo. And he continued with the system. Now, so he don't, he, he don't achieve the election and achieve, achieve, achieve up to today. Now, when I think this would ever can like Senegal. We have stopped wishful thinking. Never ever can they like Senegal. Southern Cameroon experienced a peaceful transition of power. Imagine, say, from 1954 to 1961, Southern Cameroon, they get two prime ministers. Can you imagine? If you imagine that, then you know the level way who did it when it comes to democracy. My brother and sister, mommy and papa, them, ladies and gentlemen, this country we talk about and really Southern Cameroon and Bazonia. In a country where you don't always be an example for the Republic for copy from. The Republic never ever get any any free and fair election. Never. When I see even time we even time we need John the common e winner, the team and for his own gang tail winner for 1992, the team and for need John. Now why don't I want to see plenty of people in the support that system because it favor them. It favor them. 
for be a day for day for protect that corrupt system. That's what he did. So some of our natives here, so some Kansas, some Kenya, Kenya, if they sell a republic, I share for now because the system we don't put up in place. That's why they continue, they continue, they continue. I think they just be necessary to remind us with this kind of thing. We don't know. Any more things they just okay, like republic of Ghana, like Burkina Faso, like Niger, maybe you can do like Mali, you can do like Guinea, or the republic of Ghana like Senegal. Because they talk French, even like Gabon, huh? it be very far. It they like how they talk, they so camel, one pass for the for who for need it. That's what Jesus Christ be talking about. See for rich man for enter kingdom of heaven, they like camel, one pass for who for need it. I don't go me. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in our next update. My name is Fabiano Deco, the humble servant.